Alright, what's up YouTube? Here we go with another quick video of the K24 EK swap car. Uh, kind of tucked it away in the garage for a little bit since I wasn't doing anything to it. But today I got another part for it. And uh, it's going to be the radiator. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed it. All right, here we go, boys. Got us a 2009 Civic SI radiator. And the radiator was complete with both fans, um, the cap, and the filler neck. And one of the reasons why I like to use this particular radiator is because of the filler neck. Makes it real easy to burp the engine once you um, drop it in and get no air pockets. So that's the first thing why I like to use this radiator. Uh, second, the K24 is designed like the K20Z3. So once you guys connect the stock hoses, the stock hose clears the intake. And from the bottom here, it goes right up to the thermostat. So once we drop the swap, I'll be able to show you guys how it connects right uh, the way it's supposed to. Because in the SI model, the engine bay is so compact that they actually designed the radiator the way we would need it in our swap cars. So to make this radiator fit correctly, I'm going to have to uh, uh, remove these tabs here. Also remove the old AC tabs because we'll be using this original tab back over here. Again, uh, we'll be using the stock parts. Um, you guys can get fancy and go buy the uh, swap radiator mounts. Or even for those guys that have a traction bar, you guys can mount it, mount it to your traction bar. I will be using a traction bar with this swap, but because we're not going to do it anytime soon, I'm just going to go ahead and mount it to the chassis. So I'm going to remove these tabs and show you guys how to get that done. Here we go. So first things first, you guys want to drill out these spot welds here. So all you guys want to do is just kind of drill into it. You guys can drill all the way through. It doesn't really matter. And then once you guys remove those tabs, you guys are going to have to remove these AC tabs. And the way you do it is you grab a drill bit and a drill. And uh, you just need one that's big enough to kind of go right through the middle of the tab. Because once it goes right through the middle, you grab a flat head and then this piece will pop off. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine and then show you guys once it's done. So I got all the tabs off. So I did exactly what I told you guys. You guys uh, drill the spot weld. And then all I did was use a flat head and a hammer and they popped right off. All right, here we go, boys. Quick progress update. I got the radiator mocked up the way I'm gonna mount it in. So now what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna leave the radiator bracket that's off to the far right of the car or if you're looking at the car far left passenger side right, here we go boys this is what it looks like once you guys mount your bracket down so when you guys do this setup you guys are only going to be using the driver's side fan uh, you can install the passenger side but you're going to have to cut off some of the uh, plastic uh, little guard thing here so it'll clear the um, once the swap is in here so it can clear the alternator um you guys will have to delete the one tab like you guys see here. You guys will have to cut it off. Don't break it off. Make sure you guys cut it so um, it doesn't break the top of the radiator. And the reason why you guys have to cut it, as you guys can see, it tucks right under the factory uh, radiator support. And then here, all, all you guys, guys are going to do is mount your stock radiator bracket right here. So you're going to use a 10 and a nut because there's no thread here. Um, you guys could possibly go from here uh, across, but it looks kind of awkward. So factory aligns almost right up with this stock hole here. So you guys could just uh, use your bracket and that's what's going to clamp the radiator down. Another thing, if you guys are following this build, I'm doing everything in steps. Meaning these are some of the steps you have to take accordingly to just make it easier on you. 
there's a lot of guys that install their swap and then they choose to go do the radiator well if you do that you won't have the space that i had today to climb inside of my engine bay and do the work that i have to get done so um for those guys that are following those are just some of the steps you're gonna have to take just to make your life easier as far as being able to work on your car for me the motor and transmission are the last things i look for because you're gonna find your engine and transmission uh, when you decide to start looking for it hard part is prepping the car uh, the engine swap is probably the easiest thing you're gonna do when you do your engine swap so these are some of the parts that i like to get first so let me know what you guys think comment subscribe and i'll keep you guys updated All right, here we go, boys. All done with the uh, 2009 Civic Radiator install on the 99 Civic EX Coupe that we're going to be doing a case swap in. So here's what I did, guys. Radiator is in, mounted with our filler neck OEM. All I have to do now is get the overflow line and we're gonna do a nice overflow right here in the factory location. And I'll be showing you guys that once I get it in. I just ordered it a few days ago. I thought I would have it by today, but uh, didn't receive it. So um, there it is, guys. So with this hose, it lets me mount it to this bracket. Now this bracket is out of a 94 through 2000 Acura Integra. And this is a radiator bracket for the Integra. So the reason why you guys want to use this bracket is because not only does it mount up perfectly, which gives you the right gap right here in the chassis, but it has like this little tab here where you could bolt down this water neck down to the actual bracket. So it's just a stock bracket out of a 99 Acura Integra, but they're all the same from 94 to 2000. So if you guys are going to be doing this radiator swap, that's all you guys will be needing, the 2000 Integra uh, bracket, radiator bracket. So I hope this was able to help you guys. Um, anybody looking to do their case swap and kind of save a little bit along the way. This whole setup here cost me $110, uh, including the hose. And uh, I had to go get the bracket at the junkyard. They charged me like 2 $3 plus my entrance. And then, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for the support. And uh, keep gunning. Real quick guys, I'll show you guys the hood clearance. As you guys can see, there is a reservoir there, the filler neck. And if you guys see the hood, if I shut it, it's gonna have enough space. Right there, it's almost shut. And you guys can see that filler neck won't touch the top of that hood. Neither will the radiator, as you guys can see. It sits real nice and flush in there. I don't know if you guys can see real good. But right there, that's the radiator there. 